so let us write down the product and i am not going to give you any hint Thirty seconds. Cysteine addition of bromine. Yeah, you are right. So in this case, you will have a racemic mixture. There is R as well as S both, because we have compound is cis, and addition is trans. Addition of bromine is trans, so you will get the racemic mixture. We have discussed in the class. I am not going to explain here. So you can write down the feature projection formula. What you will have, you will have one bromine here, one bromine here. So let us write down the feature projection formula. These two are basically in anseomas. So let us say here you have H, C S T B R, and this will not be meso. So one isomer we will have this, and another will be mirror image of this. So we will have something like B R is here. And then C S three will be here, and another B R is here, and C S three, and then you have hydrogen, hydrogen. So these are the two possible compound you will have. Now they are in anseomer. So I'm not going to waste my time in explaining more this easy problem. Let us discuss the next one. Discuss the orbital picture diagram of C three H four, and in this case C three H four is ethene. So let us discuss the orbital picture for aline. You know basically. So I will not give you time. Basically, you know the answer. Those who does not know, let us listen. So you have C double bond C double bond C, hydrogen hydrogen, hydrogen and hydrogen. And this carbon is sp2 hybridized. This is again sp hybridized, and this is sp2 hybridized. Are you getting not? So you see what happens. We have carbon. And this carbon has three orbital: one, two, three. These are sp2 orbital. This one has two orbital: one, two. And now this carbon is sp3: one, two, three. And now this will have hydrogen, hydrogen, hydrogen. And here you have hydrogen. Now you will have one lobe that is perpendicular to this carbon, and one lobe perpendicular to this carbon. So we will have a bond between this lobe and so let us call this a px px. So this is a px px overlap. And now here we have one lobe that is empty that is p by p by. So now next overlap we will have that is p by p by overlap. So let us say we have p by something like this perpendicular to this plane and p by is perpendicular to this plane. So we will have this overlap. Are getting so this is p by p by overlap. I think you are able to see this one. These are hydrogen. So this is hydrogen. Uh, all these overlapped orbital has two electrons. So if I am not showing two electrons, you have to understand there are two electrons. So this contains one electron. This contains one electron. This contains one electron. One electron. Two electron. So one electron. One more electron. You understand. Important point you have now these two pi planes are perpendicular. Now if these two pi planes are perpendicular, these bond are also perpendicular to the pi plane. And this is the only important point we have in this question. So you see, if I write, if this is my pi plane, let us say plane of paper. So this bond is going inside. This bond is coming outside. So what you will have, you will have C double bond C. If I write a bond line diagram, so this bond is going inside, and this bond is coming upside, and then again you have a double bond. But now this double bond is inside, so this bond should be in the plane of paper. So here you have hydrogen, hydrogen. So this is in the plane of paper. Are you getting? So this is quite important point you have. That is. These two are it not in the plane of paper, and these two double bond, these two single bonds are in the plane. So this is in the plane of paper. And this one is perpendicular to the plane of paper. So this is outside the plane of paper. Outside the plane of paper. Are you 
are you getting and these two pi planes so these two pi bounds are basically perpendicular these two pi bounds so you can say pi bounds are perpendicular two pi bounds two pi planes are perpendicular and one more important point we have that is sigma plane so this carbon hydrogen bonds are per, per, again perpendicular to the pi plane so you can also say carbon hydrogen sigma bond is perpendicular to pi plane so these are the important point we have in a structure of aline this is the even number of aline if you have odd number of aline in that case if you have something like this so this is even if you have one more double bond in that case what you will have this bond is going inside this bond is coming upside so again the here also you will have this bond is going inside and this will going upside are you getting or not we have also shown in the class if you have a even number of aline now in this case this distance to the hydrogen distance from here to here is same either you change this one distance will remain same so this will not show optical so this will not show geometrical isomerism so this does not show geometrical isomerism or you can say cis trans isomerism so does not show cis trans but if you have this that is odd number of aline in this case it will show the cis trans so it will show the cis trans isomerism are you getting or not you have another important point and that is it will show enantiomers so it will show optical isomerism and this will not show optical isomerism so the one who shows the geometrical isomerism does not show optical isomerism so you can write even number elims shows optical isomerism that is cis trans isomerism it shows are you getting but if you have odd number of elims does not show getting on so it does not show optical isomerism so let us discuss the next problem so we have devoted a lot of time in this simple problem so you have to remember if you remember this thing then it's quite good so let us discuss next one